All right, so I know it's kind of a weird angle, but I'm trying to prep for my trip as quickly as I can. Um, so little baggies, it says afternoon shake. This is super easy. I'm just opening each one of my proteins um, and everything that I put in my afternoon shake. And I'm just loading these little bags up. And these are perfect. I keep my afternoon routine the same. And I'm gonna use a lot of these little Ziplocs for my trip. And I'll have a Ziploc pretty much for everything. My morning shake, my pre-workout, and I'll be ready to go. I mean, no, no issue. Just dump right into my shaker and I don't have to get off track. So that's a simple, just little baggies, dumping everything in and I'll show you uh, what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, y'all, this is my food prep. I've got my pre-workout, I have my afternoon snack, I have my post-workout, I also have post-workout, I have during my workout, I have post-workout. This is all my frozen veggies, so I have two things of frozen cauliflower. Also in the bag is two things of frozen butternut squash and then two, so there's four cups of frozen broccoli in there. I have all my shrimp for dinner proportioned out. I have my asparagus for lunch portioned out my chicken sausages ready to go and then i also have my quinoa so this is all of my food that's going with me and i will be covered thumbs up i will be covered uh and then i have to now pack everything for rusty rider we are officially on the road um at 10 50 since we're gonna get there at 3:45. Somebody had to have his breakfast from Subway. This is a different trip for us because we're used to just packing the camper and going and uh, we're not taking the camper. There's nothing back there. So everything is loaded in there and in a cooler, all of our food, and it's a different trip. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. Vacationing with my family, you're excited? <laughs> we're excited for Gatlinburg to see all the wow. scenery. That's what we're excited for. Find a good camping spot. And find good camping spots to bring the the um, camper back to. All right, here we go. Fun time. All right, we're only an hour in, and road rage has already started. <laughs> have I accelerated? Or done you have not accelerated, but. You have mentioned that we need a brush guard on the front of our truck. I said it would be nice. It would be nice? Yes. Because somebody mean mugged you, right? Yes. Because we were being nice to a trucker and got over. Yes. What else do you want on this truck? A brush guard and what? A smoke brush oh. so I can hit him and then just slide off the highway. <laughs> and the governor off my truck. And the governor off the truck. <laughs> he can go what? I'm not asking for money. 120? Not asking for much. Need that more too. Go on. <laughs> Cooler in the mountains. It's awesome. We 
here in heaven. I keep poking out of the sunroof and taking pictures. I love it. Russ, are you walking into heaven? Yeah. Looks like it, right? What kind of shirt you sporting there? <laughs> oh, what's that? Walter Sites? Oh. What was that you just said? I was glad you talked me into that. I'm glad that I yeah. talked him into going out on the trail. On the trail, yes, I will give you that. Because you're not a responsible diabetic? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> the truth yeah. is, we have snacks in the car, but he didn't snake, take any snacks with him, so he hikes a little too hard and then that goes down. But anyway, these freaking views, it was so amazing. worth it. Yeah. Amazing. I've That's never been. If you've never been to Smoky Mountains, what's it called? It's been something called. What is this called? Cling, Cling, Cling Man's, Man's Ben something. No. Oh, hold on. Yes. I know. Wait, yeah. what is it called? It's called Cling Man's Dome. No, that. that was really cool. Yes, it right? Well worth. Because we're weekend weekend warriors. Yeah. Okay, we have a serious question. Back in the day, like, what do you do when you get to this point with your covered wagon? There's no road. I have is freaking mountains. We're hypothesizing here. We for sure don't think they came this way. Early settlers. Lewis and Clark, right? Or did they follow the Mississippi? We don't know. We That's don't know. We need a history lesson. Yikes. And there's no sort like no service up here to look, so. We are enjoying ourselves and our snacks yep. and our protein shakes. Okay, another legit question as we're going around a tight corner. Yep. Tight, tight corner. Hold on. Why do people honk through the tunnels? There's tunnels up here in the mountains and people are honking. What's Honk your theory? I think that's good. <laughs> I, it's I just, because you want to hear an echo. Sorry if you like honking through tunnels. Yeah, I'm gonna take Holy fuck. Holy fuck, we come around the front of a fucking cabin. Holy shit. Russ? Yeah. I don't think that thing's going away. No, no. It's right on the side of the truck. Oh my god. Oh, I hope that's not the mama with the cubs. Scott! Scott, come to the rail! Scott, now! <laughs> We just walked around the front of the fucking... <laughs> Russ, don't get... No, get over here now! Russ? 
Might be. I don't see no cub. We just walked around the front and it was walking towards us. Where'd he go? Alex? Right there. Oh. Yeah, the he's door. walking up on the front porch. Uh uh. Oh, he's getting in their cooler. Oh! <gasps> He is getting in their cooler. Scott! Scott! Don't be that idiot. He is in their cooler. Watch it, Scott. Scott. He's sitting there. Oh, he's gonna sit down. Can he sit down? Yep. He's gonna sit down. anymore. It's a dog resting. 